friends, is the Spiro Bolt, a brand new educational robot by Spiro. Now, if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, this particular robot is actually quite interesting. Just because it looks like the Spark doesn't mean it's anything like it. It's got a lot of different distinctions, such as an 8x8 LED matrix, allowing you to fully customize it, as well as different sensors, such as an infrared sensor, allowing you to communicate to different robots, which is great in the classroom setting. Now it also has different light sensors allowing to go ahead and see in the dark as well as different pitch. So it's actually quite interesting as well as quite unique. So I'm really excited to see what's on the inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. So this here is our box. Uh, as you can tell, it's actually got a very nice appearance. It's got the ball right on the front with almost like a holographic display. Uh, on the back here, kind of talks about a little more in terms of detail. As I already mentioned, it's got advanced sensors, an LED matrix, as well as infrared connection. Now on the side here, it says that you can go ahead and use different apps to control it. So they have a Spiro Edu app, as well as an app kind of similar to just to play around with it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now on the top here, it just kind of slides out just like this. Okay. Uh, and you got this like blue box, and you got the Bolt logo right over there. So it kind of slides up just like that, and whoa! <laughs> uh, we have ourselves a little pamphlet. Uh, you got directions, you got stickers. Uh, so you got a lot of different things in here. So I don't know how, what this is, it's like almost like a compass or some kind of directional aspect of it. Maybe for calibration, I'm not exactly too sure, but look at that. See that right there? Pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then this here's our sticker sheet. Uh, you can never have enough stickers. And then we have ourselves a instruction manual, very tiny one right over here. And this here is our actual Spiro set itself. Wow, that's actually a, it's almost like a tennis ball kind of size. Pretty interesting stuff and it's actually crystal clear. So you can actually see all the inner workings. I honestly thought it was a little bit bigger than this, but it's actually not that bad, look at that. And you can see the LED matrix right over there. So let's go and put that down for now. Now this here looks almost like a charger port. Yes, it is a charger port. Also crystal clear, which is really nice. Uh, so you got a little output over here and really nice that you can see everything in there, especially almost like the coil itself, which is really nice. So that goes inside right on top, just like that. And then you get yourself a cord. Uh, this here's our power cord. And that's about it in terms of what comes with it. So there you have it. Now, in terms of the robot, huh. So it's actually made out of very nice material. It's like a very solid feel to it. Uh, as I kind of move it around, I can feel it kind of like waving. Uh, I can imagine like taking this wherever you go. It shouldn't be that bad. And especially if you drop it, ooh. Yeah, it is quite loud. So you want to be careful in terms of dropping it. Uh, so let's go ahead and charge this bad boy and see what he's all about. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. We got our bolt fully charged. Uh, we have the app ready to go. This here is the Edu app. Uh, kind of teaches you more about STEM education in terms of programming goes. So we can click on connect robot. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna scan for the robot. In this case here, we found our bolt. This works via Bluetooth, just keep that in mind. You'll see that it is starting to glow, look at that. Uh, the 8x8 LED screen is lighting up red and we're ready to go. Now we have a few different key buttons on the bottom. So we have home. Now as you kind of scroll through here, it's like a news feed kind of talking about different things going on in terms of programming, etc. Uh, then we have drive. Now drive is your traditional style of controlling the robot. So you have a few different uh, key sensors here. So we have aim. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna aim it. Uh, you aim this blue light, which you can see as it kind of goes around towards the user like that. And now when I hit right, it'll go right. If I hit left, it'll go left. Uh, and then you have your speed control, so I can make it go really, really slow, just like this. So, you know, just like that. Or I can make it move really, really fast, just like this. Whoa! <laughs> so, you know, it is kind of difficult to control. Look at this. <laughs> so, yeah, that is actually very fast. Now, another thing is on the right hand side here, you do have a control in terms of the color. So as you can see the eight by eight LED screen, as we rotate it, you'll see that the colors do mimic whatever uh, color you want. And then you have a brightness, you can dim it, bright, dim, bright. 
so it does give you that whole aspect of it, which is really nice. So it kind of gives you control in terms of how to play with it. Now this makes a very great tool in terms of playing with like a small baby or even like a pet, like a cat or a dog. They absolutely love chasing it. So just keep that in mind. Now we have programs. Now programs is kind of interesting just because you can go ahead and create your own programs or you can download some from the community so people share them or as well as the official programs from Spiro. So for instance, this one here is the Magic 8-Ball. So the Magic 8-Ball works like an 8-Ball. Uh, literally what you do is you ask a question and then you shake it and it'll either tell you yes, no, or maybe. Uh, so let's hit view program and then you'll notice that in this uh, section over here it'll actually show you the whole entire program from key to key. So it kind of gives you an idea how this all works out. So let's start. Shakes Pharaoh to predict the future. So will this video hit at least a thousand views? You'll see it's blinking there and shake it. No, today is not your day buster. Well that's, Shake that's, again. that's a bit bummer. <laughs> will I ever hit a million subscribers? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's awesome. I'll take that over the views. <laughs> and then even on here, it'll kind of show you the location, it'll kind of give you the spec in terms of like distance, uh, the orientation, so you can actually see, you know, the yaw, the gyroscope. So it does give you a full breakdown, even the accelerometer, everything is listed on there, which is incredibly awesome. So it makes a great tool in terms of education as it kind of showcases and is constantly updating and giving you feedback about what's going on. So let's click back. Now we have other ones as well, so this here is love. We're gonna go ahead and hit start and see what happens. <laughs> so it's going in circles, it's making like a heart shape on it too. That is awesome. <laughs> so that is love. Uh, and then we have tic-tac-toe. Let's try this. Play this two-player game using the matrix and using gestures. So we're gonna go ahead and tilt it. No, let's go up there. So I'm gonna start there. Tap. All right, so that's my first spot. So we can go ahead and move the red box. So you select a spot like that. Okay, right there. So blue wins. Blue wins. And actually turns blue. <laughs> that's awesome. So that there is tic-tac-toe. I'm gonna click back now. Uh, and then the next thing we're gonna try is Take me to your leader. Let's try this one. Take me to your leader. Look at that. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Pretty scary stuff right there. So kind of gives you an idea what you can do with this. And you know, obviously there's a lot of other things here. Um, so you like a light sensor roll away, uh, we can play Duck Duck Goose, you could do a lot of different custom animations. Anyway, so we can click on uh, activities, uh, so you can click on like Spiro here, they'll kind of teach you step by step on how to go ahead and create different things here. So like uh, you have things in terms of like lighting, variables, and you can unlock more as, as you go on. Alrighty, anyways, uh, moving on to another app. This here is Spiro Play. Now Spiro Play is the traditional app that allows you to go ahead and control your Spiro robot and uh, use it as a bowling ball, use it as a slingshot, drive it around, even games. So we're gonna click on bolts as that is the newest creation. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan for it. Now we're gonna go ahead and aim the blue dot towards us, just like that. Now we have ourselves a joystick control. So again, with the joystick, you can go ahead and move it left, you can move it right. Uh, obviously this has a better animation. <laughs> you don't want it going off the table. So this was joystick. Uh, you have screen drive, you have kick. So kick works like a soccer ball. So if I kick the ball left, the ball will kind of roll. Oh. So that's actually pretty fun too. Uh, screen drive. Says touch and drag to steer, make noise to accelerate. Hello! <laughs> Conflict! <laughs> and then we have uh, tilt. So this uses uh, the tilt feature on your phone. So we hit play. So if I tilt the phone to the back or forward, you'll see that it will control the robot. <laughs> tilt it too much, and I'll go really, really fast. 
So that's always a great feature as well. Uh, as you continue on, there's a slingshot mode. Now, the only difference with this particular program is that if you look at the eight by eight LED screen right there, if I hold the slingshot in the direction I wanna go, you'll see that the arrow will tell you which way it'll go. So if I put it this way, it'll go towards me. So that's pretty cool. Now we have a few different games that we can play. Uh, so we have ourselves Exile, so let's try this. So Exile is a, a game we've seen before. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun because you know you're using the, the controller as or the ball as a controller. Uh, so this here is Light Drifter. Let's try this. So you know traditional games just like we've seen before. Uh, so it does come with a lot of different you know variables that you can do. All right. So we're gonna tilt the left and right. So you can actually see that as I tilt the ball, the car will move faster and faster. So yeah, that's that game. Uh, what else do we have in here? So as we move on, we have, ooh, Round Trip. Now, Round Trip, you know, it's just the same standard game as we've seen before, but with this one here on the screen, I'll display the color. So you can see that right now it's blue. And then, you know, obviously as we move on to the next level, the screen will turn orange or yellow, sorry, to mimic the new level. There we go, so we're in blue. Yeah, so that's that. All right, so for our next test here, we're gonna go ahead and try Spiro's Bolt in a tub full of water. I mean, it says it's waterproof, so hey, why not? So we're just gonna put him in just like that. And you can see that he is submerged into water. And uh, we're gonna try driving him and see what exactly happens. So we're gonna hit left. There you go. So you can actually see the, the way it's maneuvering is not that bad. I mean, this here is full speed. <laughs> All right, let's go this way here and see what happens. Okay, so it is, it is going through the water. And the way it's trying the water is actually not that bad. I mean, this thing is completely submerged. So it actually makes a really great product in terms of playing it in the water, as well as if you ever take it outdoors, you can see that it can handle itself quite well. And the fact that there's no shortages and no leaks at all is pretty amazing. <laughs> Look at that, whoa. <laughs> well, there you have it. The Spear Bolt is a great product that has a lot of functionality into a small size. Uh, you do get a lot of different compartments to play with it, meaning you can go ahead and customize it, create your own programs, play games, you name it. Now, it's definitely a great education product and I think it's actually one of the best ones I've seen yet. Now, if you guys have any questions about the Spirit Bolt, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.